What's up folks and welcome to another video on laptop customization. This time we have a special case on our hands. The Acer Aspire 5. For all of you asking, yes, I'm actually the professor from La Casa de Papel. And for those of you who are now shocked because I called the Acer Aspire 5 a special case, it's really not. At least not in a bad way. Actually, Acer have really outdone themselves in terms of upgradability. Usually we upgrade gaming laptops on our channel, but the Acer Aspire 5 here is a bit more of a sleek office notebook. And those are not really known to be upgradable anymore. RAM is most of the time soldered on and sometimes even the SSD is on board, which means you can't do anything. With the Aspire 5 we do have one memory that's soldered on, but besides that, everything can be upgraded. We even have the option to turn it into a storage monster with an extra 2.5 inch slot available. Before we get to work, let's make sure that we have all the right parts to open and upgrade the Aspire 5. First off, we need a normal Phillips head screwdriver and a guitar pick or a spudger of your choosing. Dracula-like fingernails are also okay, but don't get mad at me if they break. To upgrade the RAM, you should get some DDR4 3200MHz module in the SODIM form factor. The max capacity for the Aspire 5 are 20 GB as one 4 GB module is soldered on already. So you can go with either 8 GB or 16 GB modules here. You can check out your RAM clock with the tool hardware info or by opening the laptop and taking a look at the sticker on the side of the RAM stick. To replace the main SSD, make sure that you get a PCIe 3.0 SSD in the 2020 form factor. Also, ready a USB stick from which you can install Windows and download all the necessary drivers for your Aspire 5 from Acer's website. Last but not least, get a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. You could obviously also get an HDD in that size, but I wouldn't recommend this old type of drive in a portable device anymore. And, very important, before we open the laptop, do not forget to shut it down completely and separate it from its charger. I know I'm being a complete Captain Obvious here, but we can't stress this point enough, since there are always going to be people who open up their laptop while it's still in sleep mode. Also important, ground yourself by touching the radiator or another metal structure in your home. After completing these necessary chores, let's get to the fun part and loosen the 11 screws that hold the back cover of the laptop in place. Once you've loosened the screws, pry the back cover open with a spudger, guitar pick or the aforementioned fingernails. The best point of entry for our model was right here at the hinge mechanism of the Aspire. Now we've removed the back cover and can take a short tour of the inside. First up, let's give some credit to Acer for this pretty neat and clean design. The fans also manage to keep quiet most of the time in everyday use. From the fan, you can follow the heat pipes and get to the RAM slot here on the right. If you want to replace the already installed RAM, simply lift these tiny hooks here to the sides and take out the existing stick. To upgrade the RAM, take your new module and gently lay it in the slot and slightly press down on it. You should hear a satisfying click that tells you that you've done well. Right underneath the RAM slot, you should see the PCIe SSD. To replace it, loosen this tiny screw right here and take it out of its M2 connector. When you get a new SSD, make sure that it uses the same 202080 form factor and connects via PCIe Express. Simply place the new SSD in the connector, press it down and fasten the screw again. A bit more to the left of the SSD, you'll see the Wi-Fi card, which you can replace the same way as the SSD if the need ever arises. Right here, next to the Wi-Fi card, you'll find the socket for the ribbon cable that you will need to hook up the SATA SSD. In our case, Acer has already provided a little plastic bag with all the necessary accessories to install. If for whatever reason your Aspire 5 came without those, we'll provide a link in the description where you can find them. Screw the included SSD enclosure to the SSD and then place it to the left of the battery. You can screw it in place here and connect it with the ribbon cable. Before you can hook up the ribbon cable, you must remove the screw that holds the Wi-Fi card in place though, because the Wi-Fi card is blocking the port for the ribbon cable. Don't forget to initialize the SSD in Windows with the disk management tool. If you don't know what that is, click the link up here. Another big plus when it comes to repairability and sustainability is a replaceable battery. And the Aspire 5 sure has one. Two Phillips head screws need to be removed so you can easily switch it for a spare part at a later date. So as you can probably hear, we're quite happy with this upgradable office laptop and can recommend an upgrade for anyone who's interested in it. To finish our little upgrade mission, just put the back cover back on, press it down until you hear the hook snap in place again and tighten the 11 screws. And we're done! The Acer Aspire 5 has been opened and its RAM and SSD have been upgraded. I for one really enjoyed this little operation and I hope you did as well. Should there be any remaining questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. Also ring the bell button and subscribe to our channel if you want to know when another upgrade video comes out. We'll surely be back with more English language content for you guys, so see you soon and have a good one!